Well, King Khan's latest remodelling of his Kingdom of London in the form of renaming six train lines is a worrying sign of what is to come under a Labour government for the whole country. Two of the train lines are renamed Lioness and Suffragette from the very Labour woke brigade who champion a man's right to access women's safe spaces and destroy women's sports. Peak hypocrisy there. One is renamed Windrush Line. All credit to those who helped rebuild parts of London after World War II, but you can bet that renaming anything after the white working class, the very impoverished hands that built this ancient country and capital over two millennia will never happen under Labour. And who gets to decide anyway? The perpetually offended Labour voting Britain bashers. We've seen how Labour councils froth at the mouth, replacing many British street names already. We don't demand towns or cities named by our Viking and Roman colonisers like Scunthorpe or Law London are renamed because we can contextualise history, something Labour clearly lacked the intelligence to do. So once BLM kneeling Keir is in power, woke lectures at every turn will be on turbocharge at huge cost to the taxpayer. Khan has just given us a taste of what's to come. Mm -hmm. Now, despite this costing <laughs> the taxpayer millions, I think it was 6.3 6 millions on his latest woke vanity project, can you imagine when Keir comes into power and is he is the king of identity politics oh. are all our street city names street names i mean is manchester going to be renamed they chester to be <laughs> inclusive i mean what is going to happen can the tories not quickly pass a law before they go oh. to stop the renaming of our historic streets and places and and this woke train do, do you know what gets me belinda it's the fact that actually in this country we used to have this this it Basically, the politicisation of the li name of lines and things like that was never politicised. It was always seen as, a, you know, you would either name it after a royal or something like that. And now we've got this, it, it's almost Soviet-esque in its <laughs> desire to actually create a form of um, basically Marxism 101, which is actually saying instead of naming things after great individuals, we're going to name things after abstract concepts like the NHS or, you know, the suffragettes. Um, and I actually worry about moving down that sort of yeah. direction where we actually forget about the great people, as you rightly say, who built this great nation. What's that got to do with Marxism? I just didn't quite get that. Because the Soviets actually used to actually talk about abstract concepts like farming. Well, or, look at Leningrad. Or, yeah, Stalin Stalingrad. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, they named political. people? Well, they're, they're named. It's a very political movement. These are these are more movements. I'm not saying no one should rename anything Windrush or Suffragette. I'm just saying consult the country. Have a, a sort of a local mini referendum. Get 50 percent of the people out there if there's going to be something well, as fundamental as changing. I mean, if I, I say I'm hopping what? on the lioness, I'll get done for a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> they did extensive consultation with communities, and that's how these names were come up with. So I think that answers your question. No, Labour voting Britain bashing type communities. Uh, no, 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 you no, know, La La Labour is far more anti-British and anti-patriotic. I lobbied right for the Benjamin parties. Butterworth line, but unfortunately, <laughs> and I voted out. Look, the truth is that you know you're saying that this is a politicisation of these situations. Actually, we have places like East India Quay. That's a stop on the Docklands Light but Railway. You can put that okay? into context, now. That is named after a company that was indulging in slave trade, which years is abhorrent. I bet. So we hang on, no, 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 let me finish. Don't talk over me. The fact <laughs> is that we name things after slave traders, and you, for a long time, have furiously defended that as being part of our history. So why is it okay to name after slave trading companies, but not after women who fought for the vote? Benjamin Butterworth, the names are just rubbish. That's the problem. I no, bet the five of actually, us could come, come on, up. Answer the question. The five of us yeah. could come up with better names than the names that Sadiq Khan and his you know, minions. Well, sp yeah. Spikes Online had some good uh, oh, ideas. Sorry, can I just answer yeah. the question? Why is it okay to name it stuff after slave traders, but not suffragettes they or lionesses okay, or right. doctors so like the, the, the streets weren't named because they were slave traders. They weren't they were. celebrating the slave trade by naming them. It was because those men with tenuous links to slavery went on and did great things for the countries. Built hospitals like St. Guy's Hospital. You know, built libraries, built universities, and that's why they had streets right, named after them. So why not name things after the suffragettes by the same argument? They, 
they were like a terrorist organization, basically. <laughs> it was a suffragist. Now it's coming, coming out. Right. Now it's but coming it's out. it's true. Did I say anything inaccurate just now? For the, exactly the same reason. We wouldn't be able to have a Churchill line, which is what I would have, by the way. Or a Farage line. people like you turn Sorry, around I think, and say, I think you're... actually, the, the problem with Churchill is that he was a massive racist. I think, you're so... all, I think you're all missing the point. You're all getting bogged down in why can't we name it after this and this, when the actual uh, situation is... Everyone's skint, they're cash strapped, yet Sadiq Khan is spending six million pounds of taxpayer money renaming uh, the tube line. Well, hang What's on, the Harry, point of that? We've got to say what we would call a line. I've said Churchill line. Belinda, what would you call one? Oh, well, I'd always do Churchill or Farage. Or Farage, or Farage a Farage line. Yeah. A line that's love a Farage have... line. No, I wouldn't. I prefer, I prefer a, a Cameron line. A Cameron but, oh, the, lines, yeah. the lines actually already had names in the North London yeah. line, the South London line, and yeah, the East London line. That's my point. He spent six million quid on it for what? M What's my line? What's your line? County lines. <laughs> oh dear, I hope not. No, I, I don't know what I'd call the line, but I think you're all, you, you Tories are just angry because it's not got a double-barrelled name, that's all. No, oh, I think well. up and down the country, if Labour get in, you will see precious historic street names, university place names, completely changed and replaced at the cost of I'm sorry, millions to the taxpayer. Says Benjamin Butterworth. <laughs> well, yes, indeed.